What's up YouTube? Back in the gym today and um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I'm sorry for everyone that has seen the stray dog trays. I have been talking about doing a video on stray dog trays for a long time. So um, I have actually gotten a couple questions in you know, the last few days about you know, how they line up to the Sornex um, cable columns. So today we're just gonna take a close up look at the trays themselves and how the weights sit on them and how they actually connect to these cable columns, all right? So these are the stray dog trays. And this is um, the setup that I have between the two Sornex cable columns. Okay, these are the adjustable columns from Sornex. And um, they just fit. So the tray, the two trays that I have with the columns, this is where I have my my rep um, dumbbells, and these ones go from 85 up to 120 pounds. And they literally, I mean, it's tight, but it just fits. So the way that these trays connect here, as you can see, it's just two bolts that go through, and um, they have this little lip, this little lip here that the, the dumbbells rest on. And it just, just, just let me see if I can show you. Okay, there you go, that's a better view. So you can see that it just fits. It just misses the, um, the, the weight stack. So, and it doesn't interf interfere with the pin at all, at all. The only thing, and down here, so if you've got, you know, you can obviously get them, this is not, this weight is not touching here, but you know, you're gonna have to, you're not gonna be able to use the entire tray all the way at the end if you're using this. You're gonna to have to leave it a little a little gap, as you can see. This this dumbbell is not pressed up all the way to the end, but I don't see a problem with that. You know, these are the big boys. I don't think you know most of you aren't gonna have you know all of these, so this shouldn't be a problem for anybody else. But um, the one thing that I will say that I can't use here is I have. Uh, the extra pin to add weight and because as you, if you can see here with that set up it, it does interfere with the dumbbell the dumbbells in the way so I can't add weights to it but if I ever wanted to be able to use this I could what I would have to do is move this column to this side and this column to that side so the, the stacks and the pins are on the opposite side that would be really the only thing to change but it's not, I mean, I've been using bands mostly to add more weight, it's not a big deal. So, that is that. This is this side, so you can get like a full look here. So again, as you can see, it just clears it. It really does. Um, and the weights, you can see the gap. See the gap below, it doesn't rub or anything, and this pin has no problem. Um, so really that's like, you know, that's the setup I have here. It, it does just fit, um, and I, I honestly, it works perfectly for me. It saves a bunch of space and, and I like it. Grabbing the, the lower, the, those weights on the bottom can be a little bit of a pain because they're so heavy, but it works. And then this side, obviously, there's really not a lot to talk about over here. The trays attach the same way, as you can see. And like I said, it's got a little lip up here to hold all the weights. Um, the one thing I will say is the lip here actually catches the, uh, the metal handles. Um, all the way up to, I believe it's 30. Let's see. Yeah, so 30 is not touching, but the 25s do touch. So what I'll probably end up doing is, I have extra flooring. I'll probably cut a little bit of flooring and, and run like a little flooring across the top all the way to 25, and that'll like let the end of that dumbbell set up a little higher, so it won't interfere. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that I've seen about these. I mean, they're super easy to install. It's just a couple of bolts. They're awkward to hold because they're so heavy and you're trying to like get each side in. But really, the most of the questions I do get about these are about them fitting between the, uh, the Sornex columns. And 
that was kind of like most of my back and forth with Stray Dog as well, is to make sure they fit. And they just, just, just clear it. Like, I can't even tell you, they literally just clear this thing. So, um, I'm not sure what else I can show you, but. So far I'm happy with them. I needed something that took up like very little space that could get all the dumbbells up. The only dumbbells that I can't fit up on, on the trays are the 125s. I just have them stored over there. But I mean, up here I've got fives to 35s. I have 40 to 60, uh, and then I have 65 to 80. And then over here, 85 to 100 and 105 to 120, the big boys. So if you have any questions or if there's a better close-up that you want to see, just leave me a message. I'm happy to take pictures or, or answer questions for anyone. But like I said, they do work with the, the Sonex cable columns. And so far, I have no complaints. All right. Thanks, everyone.